Hey, how's it going? Today we're just gonna make a short little video about the mods I got going on on this bike. Why I did them, and the reasoning behind it. If that sounds like fun, stick around. Guess we'll start at the front. First things first, you can probably see this big old piece of plastic I got on the front. Um, this would be a homemade uh, windscreen DRZ mod. I've got another video on it explaining all about it. Then we've got the Tusk hand guards. Um, these things are awesome. As you can see, it's taking quite a bit of a little wall up there. I actually had a little low speed crash in the parking lot yesterday. Um, and that was the first thing to hit the ground. And as you can see, really no other damage to the bike. This is just, you know, dirt pretty much from my Tusk luggage I got over it. So no big deal. But these Tusk hand guards are great. They got a nice big cover. They're good for wind protection. Super strong. I don't know how many times I've had this thing. All of the body weight just dumps right on the ground. So these things rock. All right, so next we got some handlebars. We got some Pro Taper. These are the CR mid bends. I had the Wyndham bend before and they were a little too high. I've got these on and now they're much lower, which is nice. As far as why I did this mod, I just wanted to extend my riding season, get the wind off of me for some longer road trips. Uh, I took a road trip to Montana once uh, out in the Rocky Mountains and I realized that this thing has no wind protection. So almost immediately as I got back from that trip, I went and figured out, oh, how can I make, make this work? So yeah, that's uh, probably my favorite mod so far. Well, second favorite, we'll get to that. Um, pro taper handlebars, we got the grips. These are some pro taper pillow top grips. Fantastic. Um, next would be, I got some Emperor Racing ra Rad Guards, or Radiator Guards. There's the little stitch on them. They're handmade, homemade, I think. It's a small little company out of Canada. Um, I just... Really, the radiator is just the thing I think will shut you down. You know, get a stick in there, or you dump it, mangle these. I've seen some pretty gnarly pictures of the Moto guys. Their radiators are all totally bent and smashed up. Still working amazingly. Um, but I just wanted to get these protected. They're aluminum, and they wrap around so all the weight of the bike can land right on that, and it goes right, mounts against the frame. So this thing is super sturdy and then yeah it mounts in the back here this is the other protection um, yeah those are the newest mod very very cool haven't had to test them yet but I'll let you know how they work down the down the list we'll go with the foot pegs these are nice and wide well the factory ones are half that size um, I didn't even realize how bad they were until I put these on there and then and instantly this bike, you know, much easier to handle. Um, you know, I do a lot of standing riding off road. Um, so the foot pegs are really great. These are the IMS super stock. Um, pretty easy install. Kept the factory ones just in cases. And then last but not least, well, second, I did the tusk rack and then the tusk tail tidy. So this tusk rack is cool. Got all these different spots I can attach things to. Um, you know, milk crate or, you know, KLR things. And then last but not least, we did the tusk tail tidy. The original fender on these things, it comes down to like here. And I'll show you but there was a little reflector on the bottom that I smashed off after hitting some whoops pretty fast. Came back, realized that my reflector had broken off. So that's when I realized, well, I guess it's probably time to get the old tail tidy on there. Got my plate number on there, yep. Come, don't come stalk me, or do, whatever. So here's the OE fender, as you can see. That is busted off. 
and yeah, this thing's huge, pretty goofy too. I mean, I don't mind being goofy since, you know, we ride dual sports. Um, yeah, so the tail tidy is much nicer. It makes it look cleaner, makes it look like a dirt bike, which, let's be honest, my bike's a street legal dirt bike. But yeah, those are the mods I did and why. Um, hope you like it, and we'll see you next time.